Hey there guys, inside one of the more unique home offices that you will ever see. This is Mark Hammond, Rattlesnake, Pest Experts Office, and it has more animals. There's a water monitor, Colorado River toads. Ooh, one guy's a little jumpy, <laughs> makes me jumpy. I'm gonna talk about those in a minute. And we have more snakes over here. Look at all these guys. Uh, Gila monster here. Everyone has this in their home office, right? <laughs> a couple rattlesnakes. Which ones are these, Mark? Um, the one up front is the Mojave, the most uh, venomous snake in the Western Hemisphere. And then in the back is the infamous Western Diamondback. And then these guys over here. Right. Are these. And then to our left is a Sidewinder rattlesnake. This is a one-year-old Western Diamondback rattlesnake. This is a tiger rattlesnake, which is very small but very deadly. And this is a baby um, gopher snake, also called a bull snake. Wow, looks just like my office at home as well. <laughs> All right, the Colorado River toads. These things are really interesting. Let's pick up one of these guys. And a lot of people, they just look like a normal toad, but there right. is a lot to these guys. Right. Picking these up, you're fine. And right now, he's probably not doing anything, but if these are provoked by a dog or any type of predator, what they're going to do is they're going to excrete a venom. And that venom is deadly to dogs. Mm -hmm. So usually once a year, we try to get some type of education out to the public of what to do if their dog is drooling. It looks like their dog is actually dying. It mm -hmm. looks like they went through a, a seizure. They're drooling at the mouth. And it's very simple because what happens is they're getting this toxin on the membranes of their tongue and the roof of their mouth. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just take a hose and just flush all of that toxin off. If you don't have a hose available, we tell people to get a sponge or a wet rag, fill up a bucket of water, and then just keep flushing it out with a, with a wet rag. Have like four or five rags so that if one rag gets the toxin on, push, put that one aside, get another wet rag, and get it off. Do that for about five minutes straight before you take your dog to a veterinarian. Usually your dog will recover, but we highly recommend to at least call your veterinarian to see how they're doing. Now, the other thing about these things is every year, now these things only come out during our rain season, which probably lasts about two months. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about this is that these guys live underground literally for 10 months out of the year. When they come out, when they come out, they just feast. I mean, to the point where they're probably eating half their body weight every other day. They're eating small mice, lizards, bugs, whatever. So a lot of people know what these things do. Mm -hmm. They give off a psychoactive high that's 25 times more powerful than LSD. Wow. And to me, that's pretty powerful. <laughs> right. You know, I'm clean and sober, <laughs> but 25 years ago, I could just tell you right now, I knew what it was like back in the 70s. And so 25 times more powerful, I wouldn't even touch it. So now I'm at this point in my life where I'm educating people that... Don't do it. You know what I mean? But people but are still doing this to try and get they're high. They're still doing But what people are doing is they're licking the toxins off of the toad. And that's totally different from this gland right here that holds the psychoactive drug. This is called your paratoid gland. And people that do this, they actually dry it out and they smoke it. And it's a, it has a hallucinogenic high that's probably about 15 to 20 minutes long. And it's incredibly dangerous you know and they'll even tell you people that google it or if they'll go on bing or anything they'll say it is dangerous do not do it alone you know so what we do now is we you know once a year we we try to tell people what these can do to dogs what these can do to people too so you know if you got kids at home and your kids have one of these as a pet, mm -hmm. they're probably using it for other reasons. It's not as a pet. You know, they're, they're probably selling the drug off of this thing. So the other there's thing a huge is, difference between the glands and... What's in the gland and the toxins that come out that's excreted from the skin. Right. So, so what happens if somebody makes that mistake of thinking... Well, every year we always see on the news or we'll see something in the newspaper you know where where somebody may have died or they ended up in the trauma center where they've licked one and their whole throat just their esophagus just swelled up to the point where they couldn't breathe and that's what happened so 
Toad lickers, beware. Do not <laughs> lick these toads. And if you handle them like I do right here, you know, be sure that you wash your hands when you're done. So right now, holding this, what could happen to me is if I didn't wash my hands and the membranes in my eyes or in my nose, or if I touched my tongue, then I could become infected with it, you know? Mark, great advice, great information. Go wash your hands. We excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right.